All right, so this is Rose. She's the model today. Are you the model? Now, really, I just wanted to say a few words about, you know, the other things that we worry about uh, as we're racing are protecting our dogs from the elements. They are, of course, huskies, Alaskan huskies, so they have great coats and, and they have tough feet. But, you know, there are situations that you run into where you just want to add extra protection. So uh, we have we have a couple of different kinds of blankets. Right here I have a dog wind jacket. And you kind of look at it and it's a real light layer. Come here, gal. And basically these guys, come here. She said it's not cold and windy enough to put a jacket on. Uh, these guys are pretty used to wearing our, wearing our jackets. And uh, so they really, like I said, this one is a really light, uh, a light coat. It's almost like you and I were going for a hike and we put like a little windbreaker on. So that's what they have here. And that's, it's not a huge protection, but you know, say there's a 15, 20 mile an hour wind up in the hills. Well, obviously it's gonna be a lot better on them than going right through their, their fur. So the other thing that we obviously uh, worry about quite a bit, you notice I take my gloves off for this endeavor. Um, regardless of whether it's 30 above or 30 below, um, I can't really booty dogs without taking my gloves off because you can't get them tight enough around their wrists. So the other thing that we, that we do is we put dog booties on dogs quite a bit. And you'll see it most, uh, most of the dogs at the start of Iditarod and along the trail always have dog booties on. They're made out of a pretty light kind of a Cordura nylon. They're not real heavy, but uh, they do protect these guys' feet. And uh, you have to worry about kind of clearing out any of the snow that was in there before. You pull it all the way up to the top, like you pull a sock up on your foot, and then you kind of cinch it down there. So then you're basically, <laughs> she gets used to it pretty quickly. She's run with dog booties on quite a bit in her life. 